Welcome to Byte Basics. I'm Earl Yeager. Today on Byte Basics, we're going to be taking a look at how to connect your desktop computer. So when we have our desktops disconnected, whether it be for the summer or a holiday or whatever may be going on, or maybe we're moving rooms, sometimes we need a little assistance when it comes to putting all of this mess of cables and things back together. So today we're going to look at exactly how all of this comes together. So if you look at the back of the computer here, you'll notice that there's a lot of different spots to plug things in. Uh, the advantage, the nice thing, is they've done a little bit of work to help us by color coding many of these things. So as we look here on these uh, different spots, several of these are color coded. So we can see exactly the kinds of things that might be able to plug into them because we'll be able to match the color of the uh, adapter here to the color of the cable that it's going to plug with. So we're going to be looking at some of the things that we're going to be using to connect this together. So. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, showing you some of the different cables and how we go ahead and connect those. So if we look on the back of the monitor here, uh, I've got a cable, and I'll move it where we can see it here. I've got a cable that has this blue end here. Okay? So this blue ended cable is going to plug directly in to this same blue spot here. So we know that they're going to work together because they're the same color. Be very careful when you're using these cables. There's a lot of little pins on the inside of that. If those little pins get bent, you'll have issues with color showing up correctly. You'll have issues with the uh, monitor displaying correctly. So you want to make sure not to bend any of those. So we're just going to go ahead and push that directly in. Now, depending on the kind of monitor you have, the other end of this cable may be physically attached to the monitor. Or it may also have to be screwed into the monitor as well. So you may have to put it in on both sides. It does not matter which direction. These are uh, multi-directional cables, so you can plug it in on either side. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in. And then to make sure that those pins don't get bent or messed up, we're going to go ahead and screw this in so that it doesn't accidentally come loose or get pulled out. Okay, So that's that particular plug. The next thing we're going to look at is we're going to go ahead and connect any audio we might have. So if we have speakers, if we have uh, a little audio bar on the bottom of the monitor, whatever it may be, you may have to connect audio. So when we go to connect audio, we'll have a plug that looks like this. And this little lime green kind of color is the color that most audio plugs are. And when we go to connect it, we're going to look for the matching color here. And that's going to be where we plug it in. So we'll go ahead and plug it in right there. Okay. The next thing we may need to have is power. So we're going to have power to connect. And you probably have more than one of these power plugs. So these power plugs have two ends. One of them is going to go into the computer. And the other will, of course, go into the wall. This power plug, you'll have two of them. One will connect to the monitor. One will connect to the computer. It does not matter which one goes to which. They're universal. So it doesn't matter which one you plug in where. We're going to go ahead and connect the end here, and then we'll plug the other end into the wall. Okay. Same thing will be done on your monitor. Next, you'll need to connect your keyboard and your mouse. Now, depending upon the type of computer you have and the age of the keyboard and the mouse, you may find that your keyboard has either a USB plug or it may have a plug that will plug into one of these connectors here. So depending upon the age of the keyboard, you may have one that will plug into what these are called PS2 ports. It really doesn't matter the name, but that's what those are called. Uh, if you have an older keyboard and mouse, they will plug into these spots. One of them is purple and has a little picture of a keyboard above it. One of them is green and has a little picture of a mouse. So the older style ones will use these. Uh, most of our district uh, keyboards and mice these days, though, are USB. And a USB plug, you'll see these all over the place, they connect all kinds of c devices. So these are called universal serial bus connectors, USB port connectors. Uh, they will be able to be used for all kinds of devices. You, your flash drive uses them, uh, external hard drives use them, keyboard and mice use them, all kinds of things use these little plugs. They will work on any of the USB ports you have on your computer. So here, this particular one has six different USB ports here in the back, two here, and another four here. 
So any of those ports can be used to connect any USB device. That's the universal part of Universal Serial Bus. So we can use any of these to plug in our keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to plug my keyboard in here down at the bottom. Again, it wouldn't matter which of the six I used for the keyboard. And likewise, I'm going to do the same thing with my mouse. So I'm going to have the same universal serial port connector, serial bus connector, and I'm going to connect that for the mouse. Okay. All right, so at this point, the last thing we have left to connect is going to be our networking connection. So at this point, the computer would actually work, but we wouldn't be able to get internet. We wouldn't be able to get uh, to any of our, US, our, our web based resources here in the district, any of that. We couldn't print if it's not a USB printer. So we'd have a lot of problems doing anything else with our, our device there. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect our networking port. So with the net last thing we have is our networking connection. And it looks like an oversized phone plug. So it looks a little like a fat phone plug here. And we're going to go ahead, again, these cables can, are multi-directional. It doesn't matter which side you plug in to the wall and which side you plug into the computer. But we're going to go ahead and plug that in to the only uh, thing that looks like a phone plug here at all. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. Now you may have these cables in black or in blue or in yellow. Uh, it doesn't matter what color the cable is. It will be the exact same way that this connects. You just plug it in here and you plug the other end into the wall. And so at that point, you have your computer all connected, ready for the year. You can just go ahead and turn it on and begin working. Thank you for joining me today on Byte Basics. Have a nice day.